Stick around to the end of the video for an exciting announcement. I definitely look back on that video and I'm like, we were babies. We had no idea what we were talking about. My baby's father is still involved in our lives. Three, two, one, go. I think last time... I was all the way over there. Everything's changed. I was 14, I got pregnant, and my boyfriend was 14 as well. And after the paternity test, the court introduced visitation. She was 10 months old. She, sorry, she was 10 months old, and she finally got to meet her dad. And um, the visitation kept up for a while, but recently he's been getting into fights, and I'd rather do it alone than with him at this point. It was really hard before, and it's done a complete 180. We were able to get through everything. There was a lot of things to get through, and I had to let go of a lot of pain that I was holding towards him that was directly affecting, like, co-parenting. Because with co-parenting, it's not about what they did to you. It's about you have a kid together. And he stepped up to the role, and he's an awesome dad, and I am so grateful. Yeah, my boyfriend is still completely involved in our daughter's life. And for me, I'm like so proud of how he has grown as a father because he just really was not prepared whatsoever. And it really took like a lot of like just time and like patience with, with him and her to just like grow that bond because I know they struggled at first. Now he's in school, um, but it's still awesome to know that he's like completely like capable of watching her. <laughs> Relationships change after you have a child. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, completely. Like, friendship-wise, it's so hard to maintain, like, friendships that you had before you were a bomb and be able to, like, go out the same and hang out with friends the same. But then I do have friends who have, like, stuck with me throughout being pregnant and having a baby, and those are now her aunties. My friendships, all relationships, they either went positive or negative, like none stayed. With my husband, uh, our relationship has gotten stronger since the last video. Honestly, we both emotionally have matured a lot. And with my parents and his parents, he, we've gotten closer because I feel like when we started our relationship, we were kind of like, ugh, I don't wanna go see my mom. But now, like, all we wanna do is be with both our moms. I cried immediately for my mom and how badly I treated her as a teenager before I had my daughter. And I cried for my sister, how I treated them. Teachers, all of the things that we were given and I was entitled to, now after having a kid, it all changed. Yeah, my view on relationships, just like I said in the first video, just changed. Just what their purpose is, especially when I got thrown into being a young single mom and just lost what felt like everybody, including my family for a period. But thank God they all came back, but that was just, complete loneliness. So I look at relationships as a, as a huge commitment, you know, something that you two people go, okay, I'm ready to pour into you and are you ready to pour into me? I want to have more kids. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised everybody said yes. So in the last video I was, I think, about a month into being a mom, like he was a newborn, and then five months later I got pregnant again. Wow. Yeah, she was planned to. We just don't have a lot of babies in our family, and I didn't want him to grow up alone. And right now I'm on somewhat agree because two is a lot. It's scary to have more. Like, I don't want to plan the next one. <laughs> Eventually, I do want kids. Not anytime soon because I'm still trying to get my degree and my boyfriend's in law school at this point. Even though I'm excited to have kids, like a part of me is like, crap, you have to go through the baby phase again and like all that. But I know it'll be easier being older and more stable. I'm excited for that. Once you get to four, you're gonna be like, I miss, I miss that when she did not have an opinion on anything. That was a good time, so strongly agree. I would like to adopt. I would like a small village of children. <laughs> I would like 
all ages just running around everywhere. I think kids are so awesome and they're so good at teaching you things that you didn't even know you needed to learn. I feel like my whole life, God's just gonna be sending What's me kids. What's your like, preferred number? I'm curious, is it like more than Seven? four? Seven's my preferred number. Oh my God, It's Allie. a preferred <laughs> number, yeah. We're gonna have a school bus just filled with kids. That's I my goal. I cannot wait to see it, I love that. <laughs> now that I've seen what it's like to live alone and be a parent, not still be at my mom's house, it's a lot more <laughs> and um, I do want more kids, but once Everly's grown up, I want my other kids to be grown up so I have time to be myself and kind of separate myself from being a parent. Still be a parent, obviously. I'm still gonna talk to my kids after they're 18. So if I just keep popping out babies, I feel like I'm never gonna learn who I truly am to the fullest extent. Having a child was a massive financial burden. Three, two, one, go. I feel like my situation's really unique because I do YouTube, and that's how I earn my income. I also do other things, but YouTube being the main one. But without her, I would not have had this channel. I wouldn't have found a place where I want to try to inspire other moms, but also at the same time try to prevent teen pregnancy. Because before I got pregnant, I, I was going nowhere. I was depressed. I, it was bad. I feel like I was blessed with the opportunity that I was able to plan it and have some savings, so it wasn't really a burden. My husband and I learned how to budget, we learned how to make investments, but behind the scenes you have all this whispering and talking like, oh, teen mom, no money, and immediately correlated, but. The biggest childcare expense I have had to pay, I mean, a lot of people don't realize taking care of your kids, that's, that is expensive. There mm -hmm. are, there's school, there's work and things that I could do and want to do that I don't because, slash can't, because I'm with my daughter all the time. So I have to be very flexible at what I can actually do with her. I'm so happy to do so. But going to court with my child's father was the most expensive thing I've ever gone through in my entire life and was in debt for. And it just, nobody talks about that. If you're gonna have a kid, there's weird, expenses that will pop up. Like when my daughter was born, there weren't like a lot of costs because I was so blessed to be able to like breastfeed exclusively. And I feel like that's one of the biggest costs like when you have a newborn is like how expensive formula is. So I feel like I never felt the financial burden until I was like, I have to go to work and she has to go to school. It is a financial burden because I need someone to watch her. I don't, I don't have family, my, my boyfriend's in school. This is the, how it is for a lot of moms that you, you get your, paycheck and like almost a majority of it goes straight to childcare. And so it's like, why am I even working if it's all going to childcare? But at the same time, you do need that like surplus amount that you get, you know. I worry I'm not a good parent. Three, two, one, go. Wow, go you. <laughs> I think it comes down to what you define good parenting as. And when it comes down to it, a good parent is someone who loves their child and will do everything to support them. There are times where I feel kind of worried that, oh crap, did I yell too much a day or something? Um, but in the end, I, I love my child and I think that's what defines a, a good parent. Thinking of your parents, do you try to emulate your parents as you parent your children or do you run from that idea? I personally run from it just because it was a lot of physical disciplining growing up and it was more mentally draining. I feel like my parents' priority was just be good at school. Like, and here's food and here's a house and you're perfectly well taken care of because you have your necessities. But I feel like emotions should be added in that category, not just food, water, and shelter. My parents were good parents and they were very loving but their priorities as parents was very different. I think the old way of thinking was if your kids listen to you, then you're a good parent. If they follow the rules, then you're a good parent. Successful adults are not ones that follow the rules, quote unquote. They're people that think outside of the box, that make good decisions because they're the right decisions, not because everyone's watching them. The way of thinking back then was so different and they did the best with what they had. And I very much love them for that, but I'm trying to do it differently. Having a baby changed my life for the better. Three, 
two, one, go. So before I had my daughter, I was thinking of what my suicide note was going to say. I was not in a good place. Um, she saved my life. It not only got better, but it was saved because I had a reason to stay alive and work on myself. I had a reason to become a better person and heal. Since then, my life has gotten so amazing in ways that I never imagined possible because of being a parent. It's no longer like I'm just doing this for myself. I mean, I can't compare it to you guys yet because I don't have my baby yet, but like, I mean, it's as simple as getting up and going to my class, but I have a whole new motivation to do something as simple as that and strive for my best, so. Of course, I never planned for her to come, but um, when I did find out I was pregnant and then once I had her, it was like this like unsurmountable amount of joy and love that just suddenly fills your heart. Ha being young and having a child, like. There's challenges that come with that, but when you look at the big picture of things, like we're able to love them and support them and raise these wonderful little human beings, yeah. I see my life back then and I was pretty cold with babies and like the people around me, I wouldn't really say I love you that much and now I'm just like grabbing cheeks and hugging every single person I have the opportunity to hug because life is short and you realize that when you have babies because we were just talking about how old they've gotten since the last video and it breaks my heart that they're just gonna go up from here like there's no pausing time you can't can i yeah because i know ahead. it's annoying no no no, no. it's okay yeah, it's, do, do you yeah, want to sure. walk in here <laughs> you want to say hi with emily you want to go over here where's even? the baby <laughs> oh. Jeez. okay i want hugs from I know. everybody <laughs> we'll bring it in we'll bring it in Aww. Yeah, Hey good humans, do you love Spectrum? If so, you're in luck. We're actually making a game that you can play at home with your friends and family, where you can answer questions like this. Having a college degree is overrated. I agree, I have one, and it's never helped me in any way of my life. <laughs> Do you want to get the same thing as me? No. Come on. Here, put this back.